Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Allison. I make cleaning and lifestyle videos at least twice a week. So, so if you like that type of content, please subscribe and down below. Today I'm going to be doing a cleaning product with you. Um, I got this cleaning product at the dollar store. This is the third kind of knockoff version of Pine Sol, which I really like Pine Sol. I use it quite a bit, so I thought I'd test out the cheaper version to see if I liked it. Um, it's a pretty big bottle. It's an eight ounce bottle, one quart. And it was only a dollar, so it's a really inexpensive option. Um, I've been trying out the cleaners that I've used from the dollar store, and most of them I haven't really liked very much. The only one I've liked so far is the Gambuloso, so I'm hoping this one will be good, but we'll see. I'm going to use it to mop my floor, and I will show you and I'll tell you how I like the product. So let's get started here. I'm just going to open the bottle and just kind of smell it and see if I like the smell. It actually it smells okay. It's a little more chemically than um, pine salt is, I think. And I think I smelled this when I um, unboxed it. It's not it's not a smell I would you know like, but it's it's it'll, I guess it'll do the job. So and I'm gonna go ahead and just fill my mop bucket here. But the the warnings on here are kind of scary. It's got instructions on using it before using it in a meat and poultry processing plant. I don't know why. Um, there are instructions for disinfectant. It really sounds like you're not really supposed to dilute it. It sounds like you're supposed to use it just directly, which is not how I use pine salt, but I kind of want to give it a comparison, so I'm going to use it the way I use pine salt. So we'll go from there. And I'm just going to fill my little bucket with hot water. And here's the bucket with the hot water in it. So you can see it's bubbled up a lot. There's a lot of bubbles, so I'm going to scoot the camera back a little so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to make sure I bring out the mouse so it's not too wet. But it does look like it's picking stuff up pretty well. I'm, so far, I'm pretty impressed. job. It's actually picking stuff up really easily. I'm not having to use a lot of pressure. I'm really impressed. And the strong smell that it has in the bottle when it's diluted, I'm not noticing it. So I think I'm pretty happy with how this is working. Um, it is, it does have some warnings on the back that make me think it might be kind of hazardous. So I'm a little leery of that. If you have kids, you might want to read through the instructions just to make sure you're comfortable using, you know, the ingredients that are in this, you know, it is a commercial uh, cleaner. It's it's something you always have to be cautious of. You know, you may want to use gloves if you're handling it, if you're not sure. But I think it's doing a pretty good job. So, and I'm going to show some close-ups of the mop so you can kind of see how it's working for me. But um, for my overall impression, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. So, yeah, for a dollar, yeah, I'd, I'd use it again for sure. <laughs> It was inexpensive, it was effective, and you get a lot for your, your money. So I think I'm going to give this a pretty good review. I'm probably going to give it a 4 out of 5. Um, my only critiques are that you know when it's in the bottle, the scent's pretty strong, so that's a little bit of a deterrent for me. The other only complaint I have is the fact that the warnings have me a little scared that it may be a little bit hazardous um, to use. So. But for a cleaner, I think it, it was pretty good. So I hope this review was helpful for you. Um, I'm so glad you're here, and thank you for coming by. I hope you all have a beautiful day today. Bye.